dad nothing out cold. A big bump and a strange sense of nostalgia. Crumpled in a broken, delirious heap before the gates of the farmhouse. Time passed in uneven flashes as I drifted in and out of consciousness. So why are characters in young adult novels always passing out? <laughs> this was the question I decided to research for my paper. And in order to try to come up with some sort of an answer or conclusion, I went to the Yalsa 2015 Top 10 Young Adult Fiction book list and discovered that seven of those books feature at least one character that passes out. And the quotes I read earlier are from four of those novels. So in looking at this, I realized that there are three key ways that authors really use unconsciousness in the plot and in characterization. The first one is just a way to move the plot along. This is seen in Owen, Dragon Slayer of Trottenheim, where at the end, it's much easier to just have the narrator be knocked out and then wake up in a hospital instead of the author going through all of the tedious details of the helicopter coming, saving everyone, and taking them to the hospital. So, in that sense, it's a really clean way to jump from one point in the plot to another. The next way I saw the unconsciousness being used was as a rebirth or a call to action. An example of this was seen in Van Gogh, where Van Gogh goes to a mysterious island and discovers all these monks living there. And once he is discovered, um, they drug him and he wakes, back, uh, he wakes up back at home. And after he wakes up, he's confused and his curiosity is piqued. And so he travels back to the island and figures out some secrets of his life that sent him on a wild, crazy adventure set in World War II. So in this instance, the unconsciousness is a barrier between his old life and his new life that allow him to go through a rebirth um, to take new action, reassess his values and his perspectives. The last way is that it is a unique exp uh, exploration of characters. This is seen in Noggin, a kind of strange book where Travis Coates suffers from um, cancer and his parents take drastic measures to remove his head and have it placed on someone else's body five years in the future. In this Rip Van Winkle style, Travis wakes up and everything around is different except for him. As you can imagine, this allows the author to explore um, adolescence in a way that wouldn't be possible otherwise. So each of these books uses unconsciousness, being knocked out, or passing out in a different situation in order to shape the plot. And even though there may not be one clear answer as to why unconsciousness is found so frequently in young adult fiction, it is obvious that it serves a plethora of purposes depending on the content and context of the novel. Thank you.